in the communication communication ni komunikasi how we communicate to others what is the function of communication to tell uh, others what we want them to understand apa yang kita nak bagi tahu dekat orang lain supaya dia orang faham jadi we want to tell them as easy as, as possible kita nak explain dekat dia tu dengan cara paling mudah sekali so that they can understand then can know what happen especially for the experiment for the what we do inside the uh, laboratory biology biological laboratory we do the experiment because we have a problem here because that particular problem we have the objective for our experiment objective for our experiment and then we have the procedure how to uh, know the answer for the uh, problems the procedure and then we carry out the experiment after we carry out the experiment we get the data kita ada dapat data daripada data tu macam mana kita nak explain to others what we get from the experiment what is the result of the experiment so that the others will understand it much better lah ok uh, that is the communication how we communicate with others in the easiest way in the simplest way so that they can understand what the experiment all about how the experiment proves something ok of course we have the data that particular data we can construct it simplify it and we can uh, summarize it in the form of table jadi here we have the table lah ok the temperature and the volume of oxygen release this uh, experiment involving the photosynthesis ok maybe we bukan maybe, maybe we do experiment we have the manipulated variable here temperature we have 20 degree celsius 30 degree celsius 40 degree celsius 50 degree celsius 60 degree celsius how this manipulated temperature affecting the rate of photosynthesis how we measure the rate of photosynthesis by measuring the volume of oxygen release because the end result or the product of the photosynthesis is oxygen oxygen been released in the photosynthesis process if you look at this ok uh, it must simpler it must simpler it must simpler ke must simple uh, tak maaf lah ya kalau ada uh, the, pro, the, the 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 words is not correct or incorrect jadi 20 degree celsius or degree C 1 uh, Uh, centimeter cube of oxygen release 32 oxygen release 40 degree C 14 centimeter cube it show that the highest ok oxygen release at 40 degree celsius that means if the most optimum ok temperature or the best temperature for photosynthesis to happen ha, ini temperature paling bagus sekali it's much simpler lah kan daripada kita dapat data 21 kan 32 kita buat dalam bentuk table much simpler for us to see that ok lagi mudah kita nak tengok and then macam mana lagi nak mudahkan lagi nak tengok ni supaya orang bila tengok sekaligus dia dapat faham apa benda yang berlaku on that experiment we using graph histogram bar chart uh, using graphical using graph ok convert, converting the data into graph so that people that see it they can easily understand can easily point at what point uh, the photosynthesis rate is the highest Here we have the graph Ok uh, Jadi graph We have the y axis X axis Y axis X axis Is the independent variables Ok Independent variable This one is independent variables Ok uh, Oh the manipulated one lah Manipulated variable This one is dependent variable Kenapa ya ini dependent variable It depend on the temperature Temperature tu macam mana? Kalau temperature tu tinggi, terlalu tinggi, 
photosynthesis tak bagus untuk berlaku the reaction inside the photosynthesis cannot happen because photosynthesis using the enzyme enzyme cannot well perform in the high temperature or in the low temperature because of activity of the protein maybe protein in the high temperature will be denatured it will perform it will not function in the high temperature that's why it will not functioning lah that's why y ni adalah dependent variables x ni independent variables <coughs> and directly we can see that the highest is at 40 degree C ok 40 degree C uh, 40 jadi it will be much better kalau kita dapat convert the table into the graph of course when you do the graph please make sure you label the x axis temperature degree C janganlah tak label ok uh, nanti sampai matikulasi sampai universiti asyik bawa perangai yang sama kamu tinggalkan graf tu dalam keadaan dia tak label X ni tak letak temperature tak letak volume of oxygen release in centimeter cube Y axis tak letak ni title tak letak uh, graf tu dalam bentuk bogel uh, kalau orang Islam ni umat Islam bogel ni sesuatu yang haram lah uh, jadi jangan tunjuk graf yang bogel Tunjuk biar dia berpakaian lengkap, cantik dan kemas In an organized way Please make sure you have the X axis, Y axis, the name and the title Okay And then of course we do the biological drawing This is the plan drawing Of course you need to label Please make sure ya kamu tak buat anak panah Sebab apa anak panah it mean it enter or it exit dia masuk atau dia keluar jadi dalam biologi, biologi drawing yang ada anak panah tu menunjukkan dia masuk dan keluar jadi jangan sesuka hati letak anak panah kalau dalam kita nak tunjukkan sesuatu structure when we want to point out certain structure just a normal line saja dah cukup ok normal line saja dah cukup tak perlu ada anak panah tak perlu nak bentuk tajam bucu-bucu tu tak perlu Uh, for example this one lah please make sure that you label every structure so that you can easily understand that structure what is the name of the structure and then we go to the uh, directional term ok directional term this one in the page 14 ok page 14 uh, case, case SM biological textbook lah form 4 <coughs> At the upper part of the uh, fish we call as a dorsal lower part we call ventral the behind we call anterior the up the front we call anterior sorry this one is posterior ok uh, belakang ni posterior macam mana saya boleh salah ni kan uh, belakang tu posterior depan anterior bawah ventral atas dorsal ok and then we when we do cross section uh, the, this cross section also in the page 14 kalau memanjang macam ni ok uh, kalau memanjang macam ni longitudinal section kalau dia macam ni macam ni macam ni we call as a cross section ok uh, longitudinal section cross section in the page 14 dalam muka surat 14 <coughs> And then of course uh, Similar page We have the humans Okay Lateral ni In fact the In fact the textbook tu Side of the body Di bahagian tepi body uh, Superior ni atas Inferior ni bawah Okay Superior ni atas Inferior bawah Kemudian kita ada plane Okay uh, This plane at the page of 13 ok place 13 dia ada di situ frontal lane horizontal lane sagittal lane jadi uh, the textbook punya drawing is much better lah saya tak boleh guna textbook punya drawing tu letak dalam nota ni that is we call as a plagiarism we cannot use any other person punya work using in my notes but this note 
saya jual kepada student ha, ada student beli kan jadi saya tak boleh guna bahan-bahan yang ada dalam buku teks ha, that's consider uh, illegal ha, benda tu salah ok saya pun tak berani lah buat benda yang salah-salah ni tak berani jadi everything in my note basically from my own drawing or I getting help from other person lah ok other person tapi we uh, build up new kita tak ambil daripada yang the previous one kita datangkan dengan yang baru <coughs> and then the scientific investigation scientific investigation involving identifying problem we we have the problem we want to understand why the problem arise why the problem occur okay and then we forming the hypothesis try to explain why the problem happen we forming a hypothesis maybe because of the temperature when the temperature is high many of the protein denatured so that we try to explain the problem why the temperature affecting the uh, experiment then we forming the hypothesis or early prediction of what happened then we identifying uh, controlling variable and do the uh, data collection method what we want to do to investigate the problem from the beginning up until the end what we are going to do then we are identifying controlling variable identifying the variable identifying the method identifying the experiment that we want to do identifying the apparatus the materials everything lah and then we decide what is the controlling variables that relate with our problem okay relate with our problem of course then we planning when we want to do it carrying out the scientific investigation collecting the data and then interpret the data the result maybe you want to do in the form of table and then convert the table into the graphical informations and then we come uh, the conclusion the conclusion supposedly is not long it's supposed to be simple answering the objective of the experiment of the study and then we write the report okay then i finish explaining about the communication